will certain types of events become more frequent? And if they do, how do we address that? Will certain types of events become more intense? If they do, how do we adapt to that? What is our response? And that has to do both in terms of mitigation and in terms of prevention and preparedness. I'm very proud of being an engineer. I think we have been an extremely successful profession. So successful that we have been designing infrastructure and uh, other, other types of civil works that uh, we say, are ac according to the codes and the, and the calculations, is designed for uh, lifetimes of 30 years, maybe even 50. And however, we look around and we see everything is pretty much functioning 100 years later. Infrastructure is no different than, for example, a cell phone or no different than a, a piece of clothing that we buy and that we love and so we use very frequently as we use our cell phones. And so they fail, they fall, they break, they need new batteries, um, you know, all kinds of things, you know, go wrong and so we replace them or we have them fixed. The Pecos River flood in Texas, that is a situation where a hurricane, Hurricane Alice in the mid 50s came through and it rained three times the annual uh, rainfall amount over a, a, a one and a half or, or two day period. So three years equivalent of rainfall fell in a day and a half. But in addition to that, this rainfall fell on 10% of the area of the watershed and so what that means is that the locations downstream of that 10% area where all the rain fell basically were very heavily affected. So one of the big challenges in, uh, in flood control is to estimate the right magnitude for the right or for the desired risk of, uh, of failure. For a specific type of infrastructure, we are comfortable with the risk of failure once every 20 years or so. Now imagine that because of natural climate changes or man-made climate changes, there is a change in the frequency of the magnitude of the event that we associate with that 20-year return period. Global change is not just about increasing temperature, it's, it's about many other aspects of the climate system. The key is really this issue of frequency and magnitude. Instead of a, a flood of, say, value X happening once every 20 years on average, begins to happen once uh, every 10 years on average. That would be a major change because the way we have um, designed our, our system it has a, an implicit uh, time scale of 20 years, and now we have to rebuild or fix every 10 years. You know, cities are always growing and we're building new facilities, a new treatment water plant, a new um, highway, a new airport, and so on. After we have put this major change in place, how does this affect the overall, the composite risk for, uh, for, uh, for this particular area? And that question is, is Usually, I, I, I almost feel very confident to say that it's never asked and that's a very dangerous way of doing business.